folks, today we are here at Dollywood. Of course we're at Dollywood because you... Yeah, the train is running, folks. But we are here for the 2023 Smoky Mountain Christmas here at Dollywood. Dawn, are you ready? Let's do this. Last night I was looking at some of our old vlogs right from the beginning of our channel and we have been doing the Smoky Mountain Christmas for seven years. This is our seventh year doing this and one of our first or some of our first videos was of Dollywood Smoky Mountain Christmas, isn't it? So we're kind of celebrating a tradition here, right? I think seven years is a tradition. Let's go ahead, let's, let's explore. I'm excited for this. Let's take a look at this brochure. Uh, Smoky Mountain Christmas is from November the 4th through January the 6th, and they have a new drone show called Joyful Season of Light. Of course, Dollywood is as beautiful as ever, probably the most beautiful time of the year for Dollywood. On the first page, they have featured dining, they have flavorful festival favorites, uh, warm up your holidays with some tastes, and sweet flavor twists. They also have a lot of different merchandise here, and we'll be taking a look at some of that today. They also have a schedule of all their shows and what time they're going on. They have a Twas the Night Before Christmas, The Mistletones, and Oh, oh Holy Night. And also our favorite, Christmas in the Smokies is back yet again, and a map of the park where you can find your favorite attraction. And next year, they're gonna have the Dolly Parton experience. We're super stoked for that. We already got our season passes for this year. So we're good there, and we will be bringing you Dollywood in 2024. Also, they have Dream More Resort, and we just got done doing a review of the Heart Song Lodge and Resort, an amazing resort. And they're all decked out for Christmas. We highly recommend going over there and checking it out. And then on the last page is always tips and information. And I am super excited for the 2023 Smoky Mountain Christmas here at Dollywood. There's Dawn. Merry Christmas, right? Merry Christmas. And you're, you're looking good today. Thanks. Yes, you got Santa, um, you, got, you got a sweater on, you got the Snoopy hat. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're Christmased out, aren't we? Yeah. And what a difference a week can make. We were here last week and it's Christmas now. Yay. <laughs> are you are you excited? Yeah. yeah, I know you are. Of course, there's a lot of eats, a lot of treats. The bakery's got cookies. But first what we're going to do is we're going to get our tasting pass. We're going to head into the Show Street ice cream right here. We'll go in, we'll get that pass so we could try some of these treats today. That's our first stop. Oh wow, there's not a wait for it. Hey. I think we lucked out. We got our 2023 tasting pass. It cost us $37.64 and that was with our gold pass. We didn't forget our cups today. Hooray, we, we didn't forget them. We, 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 we put them out the night before, so we wouldn't. <laughs> and over here at the Spotlight Bakery, they have holiday treats and a great assortment of them at that. Gingerbread men, yeah. Dawn loves Show Street, don't ya? Yes, got some good eats. And they they have the wreaths out. Yes. And I noticed that they had they brought back the great big ding-a-ling bells, right? Yeah. And last year one of the ding-a-lings were hanging down low, wasn't it? Yep. It was too low. <laughs> it was too low, right? There's a lot of folks waiting in line for these wonderful treats. And these are the seasonal treats right here. Gingerbread, a nice looks like a cupcake with a little little snowman on top. Take a look at that 25 pound apple pie. Yep, looking good. Hi, welcome to the Spotlight, babe. Hey. Hey. Oh, it looks good. It looking good. The treats look amazing at the Spotlight Bakery. Oh, I like the little snowmen on top of the cupcakes. That was, that was awesome. 
They have an eggnog milkshake. They also have a chocolate peppermint ice cream sandwich and just hand dip ice cream. And that's over here at the Show Street Ice Cream. And there's nothing like taffy on a cold winter's day, or any time actually. And they're making some Christmas candy apples. The spirit is definitely here at the candy shop. Everything is all Christmassy now. They got a lot of hot chocolate things and uh, even some, some candy cane crunch, Don. Oh. Oh. Wow, they got a lot of fun stuff, right? The candied apples are here. They have little trucks with the trees in them. Ah, and these are reindeer. The little pretzels for antlers. Oh, wow. They always do a great job with all their apples. It's one of my favorite stops. And a peppermint stick for old St. Nick. They have some red velvet fudge. They also have peppermint fudge. And everything is decorated no matter where you go. And everything is looking shiny and bright. And it's definitely not Christmas unless you have Queen Anne cherries. They even have those here also. And Santa's got a, a naughty or nice list here. And all their shops have turned over into a Christmas wonderland, a, a Christmas shopping experience. These really, really cool hot cocoa mugs. A lot of fun. There's a snowman there. Yeah, gingerbread chocolate truffle cocoa mix, right? Yeah, you have a little, little gift box here. It's got moon pies. It's pretty much everything you need for a nice cozy fire, right? Nice little little fire. I think even Mrs. Claus would be proud. And they have such cute things no matter where you turn. There's some some elves there, right? These marshmallows are, are a lot of fun. Sitting on chocolate. Dawn, wouldn't oh, you like cute. wouldn't you like to sit on some chocolate? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What did you say Lots of fun, right? With all this Christmas going on, let's not forget about fall. It's, it's still fall. The turkey hasn't even went into the oven yet. And they do have some fall out here. Yeah, some fun things. Have it, you know, things for, your, for that turkey dinner that's coming, right? And later on tonight, this will all be lit up. It'll be amazing. It'll be beautiful. So definitely stay to the end of this video for that. Hey, Dawn, I think this dinger here might be a little lower than the others. <laughs> It was a joke last year. It was. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, Dollywood is looking fantastic. It's a lot of fun. There's a lot of folks out today. It's busy. We parked out in E for Eagle, or what we call East Egypt. <laughs> but it's at least we'll be able to get out easier. And like always, the holiday wild roots will be here on stage. And they have a whole section dedicated to Dolly here. Yes, really great merch. Of course, they have a hat that says Santa on there, or if you're a Grinch, a Grinch in a pink hat at that, and a coat of many colors. Let's see what the price is on that. It's $44.99, but if you're a gold pass or a diamond pass holder, yeah, you're gonna get a little bit knocked off. And uh, oh, wow, this is new. Yeah, it's a little coat of many colors guitar ornament. Of course, we just got done giving away a bunch of these coat of many colors ornaments just recently. And they even have a coat of many colors throw here. That's, that's a lot of fun. You can take it, put it in the back of the, the car, $39. And it'll also be cheaper if you're a gold or diamond pass holder. And if you didn't bring a hat, they got plenty of them that you can buy here. And these ones here light up. Of course, you know, you gotta activate them but I bet you oh that one there is yeah. that is cool you got ones of gingerbread and even little little things for your hair and you can even become a reindeer and every season these little bubble makers change yeah you got the snowmen the gingerbread and yeah glow souvenirs 
course, they're having a drone show tonight. Mm -hmm. Don's super excited, right? Yes, I am. We were talking about this last year. We were like, would it be great if they had a drone show? And yeah. guess what? They do now. They do now. Oh, these guys are really super cute. And the favorite time of the year is now. And it's even better here at Dollywood and the Smokies. Oh, wow, they got like a cowgirl Santa hat. It's Christmas Yeti. <laughs> I love looking in all the nooks and crannies for all the different decorations. And seeing that it's still fall, there, well, you can get a little bit of fall. They still have it. And yeah, this one here is real cute, though. You know, with the uh, with the gnomes. And they have all kinds of crazy hats. You could become a Christmas tree or maybe a cat in a hat, right? And later on tonight, these trees are gonna sparkle. In fact, you can you can already see them sparkling here in the middle of the day. It's gonna be amazing. And as we turn the corner here, we will see our first glimpse of the Christmas tree just over there in Market Square. Let's get a closer look. This is a place to come to grab a good bite to eat or just stroll around, get some photos with the family. They have these great big oversized Christmas bulbs. And all we have to do is believe. And over here at the marketplace, they have a potato, tornado, a twisted dog, and a chili potato tornado. And the pork belly skillet is back. And they have a sweet Italian sausage skillet. And it is busy and the lines are long today for all the seasonal foods. So they have the Christmas toasty sandwich, chicken pot pie and a bread cone, and a ginger sp spiced orange. And it looks like it's a lot of the same items from last year. We haven't seen anything new yet. And they usually have bands here on Market Square stage. Nothing today, but I would say as the season goes on, they'll have some entertainment up here. They have a couple of new food booths here that weren't here in the past. They have donuts, they have plain cinnamon sugar, powdered sugar. They also have a specialty donut, which is an Oreo. And then they have a churro. So you have donuts and then you have hot chocolate. We won't be seeing lightning rod go up the hill today. It's, it's shut down for the rest of the year. They're gonna do a, a revamp and it should be open next year. Fresh cotton candy over here. They have a jumbo cotton candy for $10. They have a souvenir cotton candy bucket refillable for $6.99. Let's head into Mountain Laurel Home Goods. Oh boy, it's busy. <laughs> There's a lot of Christmas in there. And we were just in here a week ago and we've seen some of this stuff. Yeah, nice cardinals and stuff. Yeah, we've got great, great gifts in here. <laughs> Everything is shiny and bright. We're gonna get something from here. I'm not sure. Uh, they got turkey campfire skillet. That sounds good. But this, this stuffing stacker sounds good also. It's got some pulled turkey, cornbread, and then they have the turkey nachos. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. What, what do you think? Good. They do sound good, don't they? Yeah. But there's no wait in line, so we better make a decision yeah. quick, right? So this is our skillet. Uh, you can see it's got like shredded uh, pulled turkey, that's what they call it. Some, looks like some potatoes in there. Ah, oh, looks really good. And this is the nachos. Turkey nachos. Yeah, put that a little bit in the sun because the lighting is really kind of interesting in here. Yeah, so we got some meats. I got the skillet and Dawn got the nachos. The turkey nachos with that white yeah. cheddar cheese and stuff on it. And you know, the cool thing is, is that it's like Thanksgiving here at Dollywood. You can get some turkey, you can get, you know, some stuffing. Turkey looks like it's shredded now. I thought it's it would be like it's, kinda, it's called pulled. Pulled. Cold turkey. Let's go ahead and dig it. We're gonna share both. Now these are huge, so I think this this is gonna keep us full most of the day. Get a big bite. <laughs> Get a big old bite. It smells like nachos, like you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. What do you think? 
It's different. It's different? Oh, wow. Okay, cool, cool. I'm going to try one of these nachos. Look good. It's got like a white queso, a little bit of um, like scallions or something on it, um, tomatoes, uh, shredded turkey, right? Yeah, I like it. I think the queso is really nice. I like the queso. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get into this skillet here. Looks good. It's got some potatoes, a little bit of turkey, um, a yeah, little, little turkey, little potatoes, little um, tomato in there, I think, or a pepper. It's pepper. I guess that would be a potato. <laughs> I got a potato. I'm excited. It's a potato. I got a potato on there. So out of out of these two, what's your favorite? The skillet. Probably that. The skillet. Mm -hmm. I agree with you. I like the skillet. Now I'm not saying the nachos are bad or nothing. It's, it's just different with the turkey and the nacho. But but yes, I definitely vote the skillet. And they always have one-of-a-kind gifts here at Mountain Blowing Glass. Let's go in and take a look. They make all their glass right here at Dollywood. Yeah, they decorate it. And... and these guys are super cute. And they're all made right here at Dollywood. This one here looks like the Dawn. <laughs> A uh, hundred and sixty-nine dollars, and they're super heavy. I mean, super, super heavy. Looks like you, Don. Yeah, I'm cute. Yeah, there's one in a, in a yellow hat. Of course, they make their own their own bulbs, right? And they have amazing handmade items here. Very unique uh, to Dollywood. And uh, yeah, this is where I do some shopping for family each year. And they have Christmas, they have fall still. They got these really nice angels that are really nice also, right? But the snowmans are the cute, the snowmen yep. are, are the cutest. Yeah. And over here at Miss Lillian's Barbecue Corner, they have three bean beef chili, $10.99. And they have the pot roast mac and cheese. And this here is the Christmas tree shop. It's a seasonal store. Yeah, they just have during this time of year all kinds of really cool decorations, ornaments. Dawn's even doing a little little shopping over here. There's an ugly sweater pin, right? Yeah, jingle jingle, right? And if you're not in the spirit now, I don't know when you'll be in the spirit because the spirit is happening here. And these ornaments are made right here in the Smoky Mountains by Tim Weberding. And we just gave a few ornaments away as a, as a gift to our, our subscribers during one of our, our, our giveaways. And uh, yeah, really cool stuff. And they have ones that are special just for Dollywood. There's the Dollywood Express right there. This looks uh, very fluffy, doesn't it? Ho, ho, ho. Whenever I see this, I remember that scene in The Christmas Story where Santa pushes down the slot. Yeah, that's that's it, right? Oh, and they have cardinals and lots of them. You can even make your own knife. And it's always great to see the nativity in the middle of the park. And the candlelight carolers are back here at the Robert F. Thomas Chapel. And for folks who don't know, they do have Sunday service here. The Hillside General Store. Oh wow, look at this t-shirt. Merry Christmas Dollywood. It's got the chapel in the background. It looks like it just snowed. Hmm. Got some candy. Candy. I know you're you're struggling with candy and I know. and this dye it right. Mm -hmm. Don't die doing it right. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's hard to come to Dollywood and not get cinnamon bread, not get certain things right. Classic um, pretzels. Oh. They're Christmas trees. And this is a store we don't show you enough. Old Flames candles. 
and the smell of wax is in the air and you they make the candles right here in fact there's the molds just over there and the great big giant candy canes are back funny story sometimes you'll see these left in the parking lot or on top of garbage cans because you can't fit them in small cars <laughs> they're they're big it's peppermint cat pacino and they even have a little pikachu that's all well ready for the season and it is busy here there's a lot of folks yeah the sun's starting to, to set let's check out jukebox junction and a great photo opportunity for the family right here, Jingle Bell Rock. And they have a Twas the Night Before Christmas here at Pines, a really good show. I think this is Dawn's favorite show. That's your favorite show, right? Yeah. Cass Walkers is looking amazing, decorated here for, for the Christmas season. Dawn, are you upset about Lightning Rod not running for the rest of the year? <laughs> that that ride scared you. Look at tissues. Of course, Ken's with us today. Hello. He's really upset for the lightning rod. Yeah, yes, I am. And a tissue. I've never rode a lightning <laughs> rod, and I'm upset anyway. And the blow molded Santa is up. And back here at Iron Horse Pizza, they have loaded potato soup and margarita flatbread. And it looks like it's going to be about an hour and a half wait for the train there's a lot of folks here we were talking and we thought eh, two hours for the train probably a little excessive seeing that we've rode it like a hundred times yep. in the past run, run, Dawn's dancing yeah it looks like the hamsters are having a, a great holiday season here that Santa's really fun So they are going to have a Christmas feast buffet like they did during the fall festival here at Celebration Hall, but they're not doing it today because it's closed for a private party. We'll have to come back and check this out when it's open to the public. hours we spent some time with some friends just chatting taking a little us time and uh it's starting to get darker out so what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk around the park show you all the christmas lights right it's beginning to look a lot like christmas everywhere you go look at the five and ten glistening once again the candy canes and silver lanes are glow. Uh, and Dollywood looks amazing. I'm excited for tonight. And the sun is setting and the lights are coming alive. There is a lot of detail to take in. The garland there on the windows. And you really gotta look around to see, see everything. Take your time. This tree here's got these little like, I don't know, like, I don't know, burst or fireworks or, I don't know. It is pretty, very pretty. Yep, and each section will change in color as we go through. And Dollywood is so magical this time of year. I don't know who puts the lights up there on the tippy top of that tree, but that's a job I wouldn't want. I don't know, just crazy. And 
this here is the line for the cinnamon bread. It wraps all the way around, goes across that bridge there, and into the mill. That's, that's probably the biggest line I've ever seen for cinnamon bread. I wonder how long of a wait it is. It's gotta be at least 20, 30 minutes. I am super stoked. The sun is setting and the lights are all, well, they've been on all day, but they're they're looking crazy. More festive now that they it's are, at night. They are. Hey, how about a hand with this? Sorry, I didn't hear the car pull up. What took you so long? I turned the porch lights on when I got dark and waited and waited. I thought you'd never get back. Well, they were all out of trees and spherical. We had to go all the way to Newport, and this was the last one on the line. And check out that tree there. It's all twinkling. Looks like a great big firework in the sky. The camera's not doing it justice. It's very hard to shoot Christmas lights, isn't it, Don? Yeah. It's kind of like a gold and silver, and, and one of my favorite parts of the park is this chapel right here. It's amazing. Now, they have carolers that come through here and sing, but this is definitely a photo here. One of my favorite. They got the little lanterns hanging from the trees. It's very popular. There's a lot of folks that are, you know, walking around. back here at the start of Glacier Ridge. It's either the beginning or the end, depending on which way you, you go around Dollywood. It's a very fun area. Things start getting very interesting here. I remember opening night of Glacier Ridge. A great addition to Dollywood. Amazing. Still going strong. Still a lot of fun. And these polar bears are just floating down this Arctic River. The Calico Falls Schoolhouse. And Blazing Fury is looking good. It's a 15 minute wait. There is a lot of folks here. Probably the most I've ever seen here at the Northern Lights. It puts on a show every couple minutes. So they have featured food trucks. They have the Sugar Queen, a penny for your thoughts, and the Big Bad Taco Truck. And it's located right behind um, the Tennessee Tornado. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Glacier Ridge. Christmas time came around. So Black Bear got to wishing and dreaming about a family filled holiday. Smoky 
We didn't know it was gonna snow! And now we're heading towards Wildwood Grove for the new drone show. We're excited about this. And I remember having a conversation with you a year ago, and we said, I remember you saying it'd be great if there was a drone show, and well, guess what? A year later, and it's here. And Wildwood Grove is gonna be packed tonight for the drone show, with it being the newest element. And there's there's a wait for a mystery mine, like a big weight. drone show. Quite the crowd here.
Wow, that drone show was amazing. Of course, we had a big crowd here. It was awesome. It I was good. I enjoyed it. The fireworks on top of that. Yeah. What'd you think, Ken? I thought it was wonderful. I was very impressed. Yeah, the Merry Christmas at the end. Yeah, but especially the fireworks, right? Yeah. Fireworks I mean, like you got to have fireworks to close out, together. you know, a great night, right? It's cold. It dropped like a lot. We got Joy, Joy Bless Life. Donnie's back there somewhere. Smoky Mountain Bless now, but you can oh, find it yes. at Joy Bless Life though still. If you look up Joy Bless Life, you'll still find it. Well, yeah, you changed your name. I did. <laughs> I need to change my name. Well, that, no, you don't. I did it because Donnie is with me so much, you know, and um, and I didn't want it to be just about Joy. So yeah. <laughs> That tree is absolutely amazing. It's got like these blue icicles. All these trees are better in real life than they are on the camera. The camera doesn't do a, a justice. And there's kind of a traffic jam of folks leaving tonight. I think this might be the biggest Christmas crowd I have seen on opening night ever. Every inch is lit up. Amazingly beautiful. And the park has been officially closed for about 10 minutes or so now. People are still leaving. Well, thank you, Ken, for hanging out tonight. Yeah. And Santa's on the top of the Emporium. Santa! Oh, oh. There he is, he's waving. Wow, that's, that's amazing. You guys had a good time? It was always best to come at night. Yes, yeah, amazing. I like those. <laughs> those are they fun. They are. They are fun. Somebody it's said a... I need these to do Zumba, and I'm like, uh, now you're talking. He's got his heated coat on. Yeah. <laughs> Folks, it's Adventures That Rock. Yeah. Hey guys. So, what did you guys think about the drone show? Loved what do you think? It. About? Absolutely loved it. Big Christmas yes. Tree. And exit through the gift shop. You got a lot of merchandise to be had on your way out. And we've been waiting around for the crowds to clear out because it was crazy. You couldn't even barely get through here more than take a look at some of this cool holiday merchandise. And uh, Merry and Bright at Dollywood. This is the last hurrah to pick up. Uh, what's Oh, wow, look at these ornaments. I really, really like them. And they come in these really nice boxes too, like... That make a good gift. How much do they want for one of these? Twenty-five dollars. That's not too bad, and they're like they're super heavy. Very, very nice. Oh, I absolutely love this bulb. I need to get one of these for our tree, Dawn. I don't think we have one like quite like that one. And this one, oh wow, it's the sign up front. And then they got the the grist mill. Oh yes, and the church. And you know, there's every shelf has got something Christmas, of course, a coat of many colors. Um, so much, so much to take in, it's overwhelming. 
Now they have Santa and a little truck, and of course there's the uh, the church. And this is definitely the truth. All the colorful trees throughout Dollywood. Tis the season to be Dolly. So they have a lot of new merchandise I have never seen before. Uh, quite a bit. They even This tree here is a Dolly tree. It's got her shoe up there. It even says Dolly on it. The tree of many colors, right? It was good today, and I really enjoyed the drone light show with the fireworks at the end. The drone show was amazing. The lights are amazing. The food was good. Now, we didn't get to see any of the shows, and there was a lot we did miss. So we'll definitely be making some more videos, so stay tuned. And thanks to all those folks that came up and said hi. We really appreciate meeting you all. And uh, it just warms our hearts. But folks, that's going to do it for today. Opening night for a Smoky Mountain Christmas. And if you like this vlog, Give it a thumbs up. also if you haven't, please subscribe so you don't miss these upcoming Smoky Mountain adventures. And until next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, Bye everyone. everyone.